بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم اللهم أخرجنا من ظلمات الوهم وأكرمنا بنور الفهم وافتع علينا بمعرفة العلم وسهل أخلاقنا بالحمد اللهم ارزقني نعمة الإخلاص بوجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول my topic today is about the radiology of the coronavirus and the, as we know the respiratory infection caused by new strain of coronavirus not previously identified in a human SARS coronavirus 2 has received the name coronavirus disease or COVID-19. COVID-19 is diagnosed by presence of pneumonia symptoms like dry cough, fatigue, myalgia, fever, dyspnea, as well as recent travel to China or non-exposure and chest imaging play a vital role in both assessment of the disease extent and follow-up. The varied findings on the chest radiograph remains difficult to interpret because it is non-standard and vague terminology such as airspace disease, pneumonia, or infiltrate or patchy obesities or hazy obesities. As we see here in this PA chest views, chest view, we have multiple patchy obesities in both lungs in patients with coronavirus. Although the imaging features of the coronavirus are variable and non-specific, the finding reports thus for those who significant overlap with severe acute respiratory syndrome SARS and Middle East respiratory syndrome MERS according to an open access ahead of Brent articles. COVID-19 and RT-PCR sensitivity may be as low as 60 to 70 percent. Therefore, patients with pneumonia due to coronavirus may have lung abnormalities on chest CT scan initially with negative RT-PCR. Unlike SARS or and MERS, where the initial imaging abnormalities are more frequently unilateral, COVID virus, coronavirus likely to involve both lungs on the initial imaging. Up to approximately 50% of patients with coronavirus infection may have normal CT scan on the first two days after the onset of flu-like symptoms. Lung abnormalities during the early course of the disease, corona infection, usually are peripheral, focal, multifocal, ground glass obesities affecting both lungs in approximately 50 to 75 percent of patients. Early evidence suggests that initial chest Im imaging will show abnormality in about 85% of patients with 75% of having bilateral lung involvement initially that most often manifest at s manifest as subpleural and peripheral areas of, of a ground glass obesities and consolidation. As the disease progresses, 
a crazy paving and consolidation become the dominant city features peaking around 9 to 13 days followed by a slow clear clearing at approximately one month and beyond furthermore all the age and the progressive consolidation may imply an overall poor prognosis. To our knowledge, a pleural effusion, cavitation, and the pleural nodules and lymph adenopathy have not been reported in patients with coronavirus unless it is complicated with other bacterial infection or other other causes. Ultimately, the authors of the AGR article recommended CT scan for follow-up in patient recovering from the COVID-19 to evaluate the long-term and even permanent pulmonary damage including fibrosis as seen in SARS, SARS and MERS. We can divide the uh, stages of the coronavirus involving both lungs in two stages, early stage and late stage. Early stage less than seven days and late stage is more after seven days. And in the late stage, we see the reticular button, we see the fibrotic streaks, air bronchogram, bronchial distortion, subblural line, and sub uh, a pleural transparent line and even effusion but the ground glass obesity is significantly decrease here we have a patient with 30 years old and we see nodule in the right lung in the right lung impatient with coronavirus on uh, day two of the after the onset of infection. Here another patient with bilateral lower lobes ground glass obesity involving both lungs. Here another patient with 52 years old uh, Day four after onset of symptoms, we have a ground glass obesity on the left lower lobe. Here, patient with uh, 38 years old, f day five after the infection, after the starting of symptoms, we have peripheral area of the ground glass and the reticulation in the right lung. Here, patient with 32 years old woman, day five after onset of infection symptoms, we have ground glass obesity on the right lower lobe and with some reticulation. Here, patient with uh, 41 years old male, day 7 after infection with area of air bronchogram as we see here and here and also we have patchy area of uh, ground glass obesity as we see here and patchy glass uh, consolidation as we see here in the right lower lobe. Here another patient 49 years old with day 7 after onset of symptoms we see here multiple lesions involving both lobes of the lungs ground glass here and consolidation in some areas here here patient 38 years woman with uh, day 7 after infection in sort of symptoms we have a bilateral involving of the lungs uh, posteriorly more more posteriorly than anteriorly and here patient with the crazy bearing appearance old is 69 years old woman with uh, 
uh, with the crazy bearing the appearance involving the right upper lobe. Here, patient with 75 years old woman, day 7 after infection, and we see vacular sign as we see here. This is the area of ground glass obesities, and this is the vacular sign. Here, area another patient with 55 years old day 7 after infection with we see grand glass obesities with dilatation of the uh, of the microvascular dilatation sign here another patient with uh, grand, uh, with 55 years old day 8 after consolidation we see consolidated area in the in the lung, lingual segment with airborne drum and surrounded by halo, also with halo sign. Here, another patient, 46 years old woman, with uh, day nine after onset of symptoms with the grand glass obesities and consolidation with fibrotic streaks here patient 57 years old with uh, dating after onset of symptoms with fibrotic streaks as we see here in the box in the left lower lobe here we see patient with 36 years old male dating after the symptoms with mixed ground glass obesities involving the uh, left lower lobe with the pleural thickening as we see here. Here another patient 45 years old ma male day 12 after symptoms with subpleural transparent line seen in the left lung. Here patient 39 years old, patient with uh, day 14 after the onset of symptoms w shows subpleural line in this here with fibrotic bands. Here patient with the day 16 and we see lingual segment, uh, airborne gram in consolidated area and here some distortion of the airborne gram due to fibrotic air fibrotic changes in the area of a grand glass obesity. And here we have 33 years old woman with uh, a ground glass obesity surrounded by uh, adjacent subpleural retraction and thickening as we see here and there. Here patient with uh, complicated uh, coronavirus and we see here non-filling of the subsegmental uh, vessel, pulmonary vessel and bilateral ground glass obesities involving both lungs patient with uh, pulmonary embolism complicated coronavirus uh, 19 and pneumonia. Here another patient with 45, 44 years old presented with uh, uh, coronavirus with uh, complication with uh, acute respiratory distress syndrome with bilateral involving both lungs and the both lungs noted. And here this is the chest X-ray 
involving all, uh, both lungs of this patient. Unfortunately, the patient uh, died from the infection. Thank you for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk. This is a brief talk about the uh, radiology of the coronavirus and hoping we see uh, decreasing of the disease globally and God protect us from that disease. And thank you very much for listening.